I'm gonna show you guys the classroom all together so you can kind of see what it looks like. I have my desks grouped together and then I've got all of this storage back here, which is absolutely incredible. And I am very lucky. We've got this cabinet where I've got student supplies that they can use whenever they need and parents donate items. It goes in here. All of our parent donations this year are up there. We've got Lysol wipes and Kleenex. So much so that I had to put them in front of our STEM supplies. So thank you to our amazing parents. That is such a huge blessing. All right, when you come in, the first thing you'll notice, or I always notice, is Nukamori is our house, or my house. I'm in the House of Dragons, and we're trying to do a better job of handing out house points, which is how we reward students for things that we're looking for and going above and beyond. But of course, these little reminders right here is we give out house points, but they can't ask for them. So it's when we notice and observe. I've got my bell schedule right here, mostly because I need to remember what time class changes because in a middle school, that's <laughs> so hard to keep up with. This is new this school year and I shared on social media that I redid this bulletin board and it used to have the science tile letters that I loved, but the problem was that my dry erase board over here had no room for like, if we need to take notes, if I need to put something important up there, because I teach two segments of earth science and two segments of life science. So that's gifted sixth grade and gifted seventh grade. And these word walls, my students use all the time. We've got life science over here. We're gonna be talking about cells soon. And we've got earth changing landscape over here in earth science. And these are my teachers pay teachers store. I know I have a bundle for this grade because I've taught it for 12 years. This one I've only taught since I've taught gifted. So I don't know that there's a bundle yet, but there will be one day. All right, so the table right here, I got this from National Business Furniture. It is expensive. I don't have a link for it because I can't find it, but this is like a, a reward area space. So we are doing a new thing where we have two outstanding students each week and I'll cover it in a minute when we get up there. But the two outstanding students who've earned house points, we're doing a drawing each week and they get to bring a friend over here. So they love that, there's chargers. So that's really special for them. They'll be there for the week. I've got my headphones over here. This is from Walmart. It is a shoe tree. It's got 30 slots and I've got usually less than 28 students in my classes. But at my last school, when I didn't, I added little hooks to the side so you can kind of manage that. This clock right here, I got on TikTok shop last year and I absolutely love it because students will ask what time of day it is about 1 million times and it's right there. And they can't really read this one. <laughs> I put this shiplap wallpaper on the door right here and it's from Amazon. And everything that I'm talking about that's from Amazon is in my classroom favorites. And I'll have a link down in the description below. But my close friend, Emily, had this on her desk in her classroom when we taught together. And I love it. So she redid the top of her desk. I've done a Chromebook cart before. It used to be on this bulletin board, but that makes a big difference. And I like mirrors because students love to check their fit. I like to check mine, make sure I don't have anything on my teeth. Uh, so that's from Target and it saves students so many trips, unnecessary trips to the bathroom because you know that's what they're going to do. All right, over here I've got more storage, which is incredible. These are my science topic posters. These are also in Teachers Pay Teachers. I have a set for physical science, which I taught the first year here. I've got life science and I've got earth science as well. There's nine posters when you buy the set, but because I taught all three, I divided it up this way. So you get a lot more than what you see on the wall. And these are from Ikea, but you can also get them on Amazon and I've linked those. 
This is where I put school info and events. So like football schedules, cafeteria, lunches, all that. I'm not gonna show you because I like to keep our school private, but that's for students. The science is like magic, but real sign people ask all the time about. I bought these letters on Amazon and they're in my storefront. They are expensive, so maybe find a cheaper version, but this was the cheapest I could find and I like how big it is. Um, the wooden slats are from Simply Stained and there's a link always in my profile to get 10% off. That's where the quotes on my wall are from and those as well. The LEDs are probably one of my favorite additions that I made early on because they add so much extra light. I like all the lights because in a normal day in class, these blinds are all the way open. So we've got tons of light from these two windows and then all of these extra lights. And then we don't have to have the harsh overheads, but then when we do, we've got these cloud-like covers that insert into here. And I have two different kinds linked in my storefront. These are inserts and they're more expensive and some people can't use these, but they also have ones that you can attach to the outside. They're like magnetic metal ones and those are more affordable. On these, these are seat sacks so students can put things in the back of their chairs. So those are kind of handy for organization. We also number our desks because this will be their Chromebook number and anything else in the classroom. So all day long, I'll know if something happens to Chromebook number one, these are the four or five, six students that are using Chromebook number one, and that's kind of a good way to keep things a little bit accountable. This is my Lettuce Grow aquaponic tower. Some seedlings are on the way, which is perfect for seventh grade life science because we teach photosynthesis, ecosystems, plant cells, all of those things. This uses just water and it has timers that uh, you set up for the lights and for the water. And you'll put your little seedlings in here and it grows. But the reason why I always share this, I did not purchase this and they offer a raffle, which I'm gonna put down in the link below. And you can win one of these for your classroom. This is all recycled material and they give one, a, one away a day to a deserving teacher. So, I love that. These are classroom pet guinea pigs. We call them Lil Wo, and I'm gonna give you a little story. My last guinea pig was named Willow, and this was her little name plate that was on her cage, and it spelled Willow. But we lost one of the letters one day, and when I came in, my student had reorganized them to Lil Wo. So our guinea pig's name changed from Willow to Lil Wo. So anyways, I couldn't figure out what to name these two after she passed away. We got these two girls because they were together and she looks just like Willow, exactly. And she's also very skittish. Now this one, we decided we were gonna honor her namesake. So this is Lil and this is Wo because of the cowlicks. Yeah, I don't, I already gave y'all celery. But my sixth graders love to get them out and they clean their cage. We hold them during class. Um, we've got two water bottles. I've got all my pet stuff also in my storefront. And then I'll always put out extra feeders and things over the weekend. And we feed them veggies that we start growing here and they love celery and carrots, so. So now up at the front, this is my favorite new addition to my classroom this school year. It is a Plinko board, y'all. And anybody who loves the price is right. I mean, does it get any better than this? <laughs> so I've updated this. I bought this at Costco and I'm excited for y'all because everybody loves this and it's $30 cheaper now at my Costco than it was and they do have it online. But this is our outstanding students and our birthdays. They will drop the Plinko chip. I've got a YouTube video all about this, um, but we've got a classroom store and these are the things that they can land on. Bean Boozled, that's like our whammy. Classroom store times one, two. We've added candy. We've got a mystery bag. 
and all that fun stuff. So that's for our Outstanding Students of the Week, earning house points, and also for birthdays to recognize everybody's birthday. This is something I made on Spoonflower. I created this graphic and then it, you can print your own fabric because obviously the magic school bus I love and we teach the solar system in sixth grade. So that is one of my favorite things. This is just like a little cart that I inherited and I love and I keep notebooks and things that I need down here. This is brand new classroom currency I created. We have a digital PBIS point system, but I wanted to give out physical points. So I created this with ChatGPT, and these are gonna be their house points that I physically give them. They're gonna write their name on the back of this ticket. And this is how we're doing our Friday prize drop. I used to name an outstanding student, but what I don't like about that is there are so many amazing students to choose from throughout the week. So now each class has this little box I got on Amazon. It's got a little key lock box and they're gonna drop in their ticket with their first and last name on it. And then on Friday, I will open it up, assign house points to everybody who got one and dropped it in there as many as they have. And then we'll draw two students to do the prize drop. And the reason why I think that's great is it just kind of keeps me handing out those house points, but I also can put them into the computer just once, like on a Friday, and not every day, all day long, because that's really hard to manage. This is my desk area. I love to travel, so I've got lots of travel photos here. We've got my Nukamori dragon, because we are the house of dragons. And these are all my travel, like, what do you call these? Souvenirs. This is what I collect now, just tiny little things from my travels because I love to have a place that students look at and ask about. So travel is a big passion of mine. Over here to the side of my desk, this is the help desk. So students can come over here, bring their book, bring their Chromebook, and they can get help. And this is something I started doing a long time ago because I do circulate in the classroom. We do have GoGuardian so I can see their screens from my desk. But one thing I like is they feel like they can ask questions. We're not distracting their neighbor. And when I walk around the room, it tends to be a distraction when we're actually focused. So we've got some student supplies over here. We've got pencil sign out. That's what we had to resort to last year. And this is new this year. These are my new turn-in bins. I got these on Amazon and I hot glued three together. The top one, well, let me say, the reason why I did this, I used to have one basket for these two class periods and one basket for those two. And I was so tired of sorting out papers and who's in which class. And I also needed a place for late work so that I know to pull those out and put those in the grade book ASAP and no-name papers. So these clear acrylic bins are gonna be a godsend this year because it's just great to be organized in a classroom. These 30 slot mailboxes are cardboard, but I've always had these since my first year of teaching because the person I student taught with used this. And when an assignment, we give it out, the extra copies go here. Now, this is actually my warm up. So number one is always our warm ups. We do a warm up question on the board every day and some weeks we turn those in. We've got my syllabus there, but when students miss something in class, they know these are where the extra copies are. So that's a great way to kind of keep them organized. I've got my Chromebook cart right here. We are back to having them in the classroom. This year I'm doing a bathroom pass and it's one in one out school rule. So now I can physically see who, if anybody has gone and students know whether or not somebody has it or not. So it's hanging right there. Here's the classroom store. So now these are the mystery bags up top. These are top shelf prizes. There's one top shelf prize ticket in the mystery bags. And all of the things you see, most of them were donated by amazing people like you on the internet, on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. So if you ever feel compelled, you can go to my Amazon wish list or idea list if you wanna see what's in the store for your classroom. But if you ever want to donate, our students greatly appreciate it. This is for their birthdays. This is for 
being an outstanding student. This is These two are the classroom store, so students can get sodas, snacks, little things like the uh, plastic babies in seventh grade. We've got fidgets, all kinds of things, magic cubes, poppets. So we're always kind of adding to that. Oh, and here's being boozled. This is the whammy. And so you can see right here, when they land on that, they will spin and let's see, like if they land on this one, it says tutti frutti or stinky socks. So you never know which bean you're gonna get. It could be the good one and it could be the bad one. But that one is such a hilarious addition to my classroom and I'm so glad we did that. All right, a few other things I wanted to show y'all. I do use these happy feet and I think they look a lot better. They don't collect as much dust as tennis balls and I love them. So one year I used some classroom funds to buy those. Over here, I used these little hooks into the wall to hold my anchor charts because I could never figure out where to put those. So highly recommend that. I've got these timers on and right now it's actually after school hours. So they would typically be off if they were on the timer. I set these timers up but I turned it on so you guys could see the lights for this video. Um, but these classroom timers are amazing. You're gonna save energy. That's gonna save money for the school. And also it's gonna save the life of these lights. So mine cut on at like 6, 6.30 in the morning and they cut off at 4 p.m. That's every light that you see in the classroom. So when you get to school, that's so many less things that you have to do. All right, so that's the classroom tour. And I'd love to know what questions you guys have down in the comments below. And until next time, happy teaching, and I'll see you in the classroom.